Are you ready to have some fun? Today, we're going to make a spiral snake. This is so cool. Let me show you what we do. We're going to start with a piece of paper. Now you can use any color of paper you want. You can even decorate it. But we're going to start by drawing a circle in the middle of the paper. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to trace the circle from something that's round, like a plate or a lid. So, I found a bowl that is just the right size. You want it to be just smaller than your paper. And so this is just the right size. So I'm going to trace it. You can use a pencil. I'm gonna use a marker so that it shows up a little better. And you want to carefully hold the, the round thing that you're using, the lid or the plate or the bowl, and trace around it as you hold it. Then we lift it and look, we've got our circle. Now, this is where we're going to do the spiral. It's a little different than when you're drawing spirals because we're starting with a circle and we're going to start with one of the little, I'll, I'll make a little dot and we're going to make a spiral inside. Now we want to kind of start, it's a little bit pointy, so we're gonna start like we're gonna draw a circle, but we want to make a big space between the lines. We don't wanna make it real tiny, okay? So we're going to go around the circle. See how it's kind of big around here? A lot of space, and I'm going to keep going around and remember, I don't want to close the circle, so I'm going to keep coming around like this and around like that, okay? And then we cut it. So, this is fun. I'm going to cut over from the edge of the paper to this where the circle starts and then I'm going to cut around the circle Okay, now I'm going to put this extra paper out of the way. So now you cut around the spiral that you just drew. Cutting starting with this skinny part and then where it goes wider around. Do you see? It's starting to, to be cut like a spiral. Okay, there, do you see it kind of makes it kind of fun like that? Now, this part up here is gonna be our head, so we're going to make some eyes. Now, we, we want it so that the, that the mouth is this part, that's the very end, and so the eyes are gonna be here. So what we're gonna do, it wants to kind of open up, doesn't it? I'm gonna put it back like this, okay? And I'm gonna turn it here because this bottom part is the part where the mouth is, so the eyes are gonna be here, okay? And I'm going to just make two black eyes, just like that, okay? Now, it's fun to make a little red tongue. So you start with a very small little rectangle of red paper, and we're going to cut 
a very small triangle out of the bottom like this. Cut in the middle and cut in the middle so it cuts it like that, a little tiny triangle. And then we're going to tape that red tongue on the back of the head. Okay. I have some tape right here. So I've got this little piece of tape and I'm going to tape it on the back here, just like this. Okay, so now we've got our snake. Now you can keep it like that, but it's fun if you put a little piece of string so you can hold it up like this. So one of the easy ways to do that is to poke a little hole. You have to be very careful. I'm going to use one of these little push pins and you poke a little hole above where the eyes are. You have to be careful. You could push it down on a carpet or something that's soft or you can just lift it and make sure your fingers are not underneath and you just poke a hole like that. And you might need to make it a little bigger, bigger. okay? Sometimes you can poke it with the end of sharp scissors, but I've got a little hole there, okay? Now, here's my string. This string, or you can use yarn, and if you can poke it through, or maybe have someone help you, then it comes out on the other side, okay? And this is where another piece of tape is needed, and you tape it down on the other side. So now, you can hold it up like this, and you've got your snake, and it can twirl. Do you see how fun that is? So, now it's your turn to make a spiral snake. Any color you want. And we'll have some more fun next time. Bye!